Okay. <clears throat> so, I haven't really seen a video done on this uh, on a small scale. Um, usually when somebody talks about having a saltwater mixing station, it is rather large. Uh, 54 gallon at least. But, I only have a 20 gallon long. So, the the goal was to get like a small saltwater mixing station and I, I haven't seen a video on YouTube about it which I'm really surprised about. <clears throat> but here it is. And if I wanted to see a video like this before I started this whole saltwater adventure, I... Well, I guess I'm going to do it exactly like I would have liked. Basically, we have a Rubbermaid tote. That tote is about 15 bucks. It holds 20 gallons of water. In the Rubbermaid tote is a Sun Sun 800 gallon per hour wave maker or circulation pump. <clears throat> it does quite a good job. Also in there is, uh, I believe, a 50 watt Aquion heater, a thermometer, which is down there on the floor now because the lid is open, and a just a generic pump from Amazon. Uh, it's quite a large pump. If need be, it can lift water about seven and a half feet. <clears throat> I tried using smaller pumps, things under the tank, it never worked out quite well. <clears throat> I wanted it to be as small as possible, but the problem is, is the tank is about four and a half feet off the ground. And so I wanted something simple to where I could just throw buckets of water in there, throw the salt in, and basically set it and forget it. <clears throat> so we have this here. And you throw it in there, you, well, me, I go and I buy distilled water, because I don't have a roadie yet. Honestly, I probably should have just purchased one, because it really gets expensive. Even a small tank. So I'd recommend anyone just buy the damn thing. I know it's $200, especially if you have chloramine uh, involved in your county. It's worth it. Just do it. Seriously. So, uh, now the cool thing about this is basically you have the pump and it is connected to half inch tubing. Actually, three eighths. Because half inch was just, in my opinion, far too, just too fucking bulky, man. So, it goes out of the tote. It circles behind the other, well, this is the freshwater tank. It circles behind it, comes up, and comes to here. Fantastic. Okay. So, now here's where it gets just great. This is just capital. That right there is a sensor. This is a remote. So, I turn it on, water comes out, and turn it off. Fantastic awesome so basically <clears throat> there's your saltwater nano mixing station it's in the corner of the room doesn't bother me I stack shit up on top of it I, I kick it I've fallen into it nothing happens it's perfectly okay you throw the salt in there you throw the water in there and you put the lid on you measure the salinity once because you don't have to worry about evaporation because of the lid and you're done whenever you want to do a water change you just do your cleaning, do your siphoning, throw it in the bucket, throw it wherever, and you just click a button. It doesn't get any more simple than that. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, there's even extra room on the hose, so if you wanted to, you could, you know, prime your aqua clear or rinse stuff off with salt water, clean your poly filter pad, whatever, what have you. Uh, or if you wanted to, you could fill up a small, you know, container for like drip acclimation. Fantastic. This is the 20 long. Um, it's not bad at all. It could be a lot more impressive, but I'm broke. It's about to get a lot more interesting, though, because we have the makings of a sump. Yes, indeed, we do. Uh, in the AquaClear, 
uh, I basically got a, um, inspiration from mass aquariums. Simply put, <clears throat> the only thing that the only reason I use the AquaClear is for like a cheap chemical reactor, media reactor rather. That, that's about it. Um, there's some um, Kimmy Pure Blue in there, and there is some Purigen in there. And off to the side where the intake comes in, there's you know a uh, floss that's cut to size and removed weekly, uh, so you don't have to worry about the problem of nitrates. Uh, the tank continually runs at about three nitrate. Um, five gallons is changed out every two weeks. So I believe that's quite fantastic. Uh, there is no algae whatsoever. And the water is crystal. Uh, one thing I can say that has been amazing is this Sun Sun UV unit. Um, it's $20 and it works very well. Uh, there's just a standard Aquion 100 watt heater there uh, to keep everything exact. Now, in this one, there's just a poly filter pad. That's it. Um, it is in a separate little uh, filter because I really don't feel like emptying out the AquaClear every single week multiple times to you know clean it of stuff so it doesn't like start just forming shitloads of nitrate so it, it has its own little filter once I get the sump going well then I won't have to worry about that it's not bad I've been trying to get it as stable as possible before I add more coral I've done experiments with uh, different types of coral and uh, this light is an issue <laughs> so <laughs> a new light comes tomorrow I've had this thing for almost a year. I, I, I'm done. It, it's the problem of that <clears throat> the light, even dimmed 50%, uh, because of the way the gooseneck is, I can only get it that far off. And the problem is, is that I just tend to burn the living hell out of anything I put in there. So I got a new hanging uh, light kit, <clears throat> a black box, which is what my local coral store uses. And uh, we're going to try and make this thing just awesome but it's gonna take a while because I'm very cheap so we'll see what happens uh, so yeah thanks